U.S. government says they're about to go to war with China. It's about to go down. Check this out. What I'm about to show you is arguably the biggest story in the world right now, in my opinion, but it's being totally ignored by the mainstream media. So the United States just announced it's getting ready for war with China and Putin at the same time for a very important reason. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin are about to completely alter the international power structure with and the, the military system. Brinks. This is why they're getting ready for war. Yep. No other reason. The biggest story in the world happened this week in Moscow, and your mainstream media ignored it. This week, Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin signed 14 different documents in their face-to-face -face meeting. The biggest had to do with trade and currency. It's perhaps the biggest story in the world right now, but again, the U.S. media was obsessed with something else. It could be days away from becoming the first former president to be indicted. Donald Trump is under multiple criminal inquiries. The media wants you distracted from the U.S. banking crisis and the decline of the U.S. dollar. Saudi Arabia and Iran, Sunni and Shiite Muslim, are sworn enemies. They hate each other. And yet China just brokered a peace deal between them. Yes, China did that, not the Whoa. United States. And then this week, Saudi Arabia openly talking about settling their oil trades in the Chinese currency yuan. This would replace the U.S. dollar. They would replace the petrodollar, the U.S. dollar that we use as a hammer to sanction any country we like. If the U.S. doesn't like you and wants to sanction you, they can because if you want to oil, you'll need to pay with the U.S. dollar to settle that transaction. Imagine if the U.S. can't threaten you with dollars anymore. All they have left are weapons, and there's nothing more dangerous than a person losing power. What? Yeah, he's right. A person losing power is very, very dangerous, but it doesn't matter when they're losing power to someone that has way far technological prowess and all of that stuff than you do. Now, don't get me wrong. The U.S. got a bunch of technology that's locked up in vaults and behind closed doors and all of that stuff. But over there in China, they actually let their people indulge and mess with the technology. So their technology can go further. If you have more minds involved with it, it's going to be more ideas, more creativity. Over here, they keep it so close-knit. Over there, they're teaching technology to the preschoolers. Yeah, but it's wild that... All I see on the news is these bridges, you know what I'm saying? And some bridges they ain't even shown yet. And then I see it's a bunch of propaganda, bro, like Donald Trump stuff and all of that. And then I come across that the Pentagon is a film company ran by the Department of Defense, which is supposed to be gearing up and getting ready for stuff like this. But they rather raid Diddy. That's crazy. They rather do breaking news on Diddy, bro. Instead of putting this out there, I haven't seen not one news station do a breaking news on this information or the fact that the the bricks or the brinks or whatever, whatever they call that currency that they about to come with. Do y'all know it's starting on the 1st of April, bro? Yeah, it's about to go down when the U.S. dollar don't have that ring to it that it used to have. You know what I'm saying? When that U.S. dollar don't have that value, don't have that, you know what I'm saying? That prestige that it used to have. People's man, people going to be like, F the U.S. dollar. F all that U.S. stuff. Then what is the U.S. going to do? Because the U.S. has been a big bully since day one, since they came and squatted on this land, bro. So... Yeah, man, this is crazy, but I'm done. Now I want to hear from y'all. Like, did y'all hear about this? Have you seen this? Do you know about the, the brinks and the bricks, whatever that shit is? The bricks, I think it's bricks. Y'all know about that? Have you heard about that? Do you know that it's coming and encroaching upon us? And when that happens, we're going to lose a lot in the U.S. For one, they're doing, they're doing damage to these bridges. So oil and transports can't get through. Goods can't get through. And then all of these outside companies are going to cut and sever ties with the U.S. because we don't indulge with the brinks or the bricks. It's about to get wild out here, man. Shout out to Coffee79 for sending me this. But like I said, I want to hear from y'all. I want to know the ins and outs in between, how you feel about this. Let me know. Drop it in the comments.